The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Off Tap Life. Always a pleasure to be rocking with the best family on the tube. If you're new here, consider subscribing and joining the family because we'd love to have you. And speaking of family, we have a song right here that I made for my family back in the day. This has been requested by Jazzy J. This is a song that's really close to my heart. You know, I made it for my dad, my brother, my mom, and I ended up dedicating this to my mom when my mom passed away. And so this song is very special to me, and I, 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 I'm really flattered and happy that someone requested this song in particular because it is a special song. It really is a special song. So thank you so much Jazzy J for this request. And uh, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in today to this channel. We do have multiple channels. The links are in the description. If you want to help support me, the channel, you know, you can start easily by just subscribing to the channels and likes and comments, things like that. All that stuff helps tremendously. You can also go over to offtap.life and you can get a reaction request. You can get clothing. Um, you know, if you want to support the channel any which way you do, it is greatly appreciated. Okay, so that being said, I, I just want to, you know, take a moment to little bit for a couple seconds talk about this song I don't want to talk about it too much because you guys don't know this but this is my fourth time now actually recording the start of this video and I know it's crazy because I didn't want this video to end up gloom and doom <laughs> because it's what happened each time I started talking about this song I instantly started going to the sad stories, you know, the stuff that's happened and the, you know, it's kind of easy to do with the song because it is such a important, you know, song for me. I made this song for my family. I remember when I sent the song to them, uh, I was still overseas at the time I was in, where was I when I made this song? I think, yeah, I, I was probably in Australia. I don't think I was in Japan. Yeah, no, this would be in Australia. I wrote this song in Australia here. And, um, yeah, you know, when I made this song, it's, this is the thing about my music. It's, it's very much reflective of the moments, the feelings, the emotion, you know, all the things that are going on in my life. That's what my music is reflective of. The good, the bad, the ugly, whatever is happening, that's what my music is. So this music, you know, this particular song, Better Days, the title really says it all. I was thinking about those better days, those memories, those special moments that I had with my family, you know. Um, those moments are priceless. And you guys probably have some of those special moments with the ones close to you as well. And the cool thing I can say, no matter what happens over time in relationships, no matter what happens when people pass away, when relationships just kind of don't have the time to continue to nurture and grow or because of distance being in different countries they kind of just fizzle out so you what you know what i mean like the one thing that can never be taken away from you is those special moments those memories you've already created and i i hold those close to my heart i cherish those and that's why this song means so much to me because it you know when you hear the lyrics you'll know just 
where my mind was at. Some of those special moments, some of those things that some people might think are little things, but to me they're big things. Like when I wasn't feeling well, um, and you hear the lyrics in a song, there was times when I wasn't feeling well as a kid. My mom had a secret weapon. The medicine that she would give me was a special type of medicine called Burger King. And, and I would get a double bacon cheeseburger, some fries, and Sprite <laughs> or 7-Up, whichever. Uh, I think it was Sprite uh, or 7-Up, one of those. They're one in the same, really. If you guys who know, you know. And some Oreos, dude. That's the magic medicine right there. If you want to get better when you're not feeling well, you feed me that. That is better than any pill you could possibly take. <laughs> so this is the kind of stuff that are memories that I go, wow, I miss that. You know, I miss those moments. Right now is Thanksgiving back home in the States. Thanksgiving. Ah, better days. How many amazing Thanksgivings have people had? I'm sure a lot of you have had great Thanksgivings. This is the one time of the year where you really want to give thanks and be with those that you love. And it's been a long, long time since I've had that opportunity to spend Thanksgiving or any holiday for that matter with those, you know, close to my heart. And, you know, we all, like I said, we all grow up and we end up going our paths and things happen and we end up building our own families and all these things happen. And um, I've had my relationships and probably one of the reasons why I'm single now because I, I just distress the, you know, the, the freaking frustration, all the different things that go along with being in a relationship. <sighs> They take their toll on you after a while, you know, and you you come to appreciate this. Just the silence, the being able to do what you want, when you want, how you want, where you want, when you want, all those things without the headache of it all. Just the freedom. It You come to appreciate it. But then there's moments where you wish you had someone around, like when COVID started. Being in this situation, being alone, having to deal with it alone, the pandemic around the world, not knowing what's going to happen, not how bad it's going to get, all these different things associated, as a lot of you guys would know yourselves, because the whole planet is going through this thing together at the moment. But, you know, it was a scary time. At first, you know, when it just first hit, it was really scary. Still scary now, but it was even more scary at first because you just didn't know nothing. You know, there wasn't a lot of information going around so that you could help attempt to protect yourself. Um, but being far distances from the people you love during these type of times makes it that much harder, right? So this song is cool because it is the memories, it's the moments, it's those things that no matter what goes on, no matter what happens... I have the memories, and this song is a testimony to that. So without further ado, I'm going to play the song for you guys so you guys can hear the song and know what I'm talking about and know why the song means what it means to me. You're going to watch the video here, and you're going to hear the song. Some of you probably have heard this for the first time, so enjoy it. And I hope you guys, uh, you know, this Thanksgiving, I do hope that uh, you guys are able to find some way to give thanks and to be able to you know have a special moment this whole holidays you know christmas and everything i i think a lot of people this year are going to be apart they're not going to be having the big gatherings that they normally would have and so i know it's going to be a lot harder for a lot of people to get through this holiday season but find comfort in knowing that the off tap family this family right here Man, we 24-7 and we got you. And that's why, I will say this, guys. I Unfortunately, my mom has passed. Unfortunately, I don't have the closeness with my dad and my brother that I wish I had. That I, I, I dream that I had like those movie-type family situations where it's like, Hey, whose house? This Thanksgiving. Yours or mine? Hey, I don't know. Man. 
you know, what are we doing? Hey, let's all go fishing. Like, I wish I had that. I don't have that. But I do have the memories of growing up. Um, that's why this song is special. So that being said, without further ado, for me, for Jazzy, for all of you, uh, this is my song, Better Days. It's the first time reacting to it, too. So let's go ahead and play it nonstop. <laughs> One of those great moments about doing my song again is that, hey, guess what? It will not get blocked. <laughs> so I'm playing it nonstop, off tap mode. Check it out. Here we go. It didn't start right with the pop. Come on. Let's go. Boom. My family's my real crew Mama's there not feeling down for purple nightgown They taught me how to swim a life that would never drown Mama and dad used to get down, used to pay their own sound Gave me the gift I found, now I'm doing this around My family loved me, the crown was always around But we traveled around, we all got the same ground uh. When I travel in time Once again make it mine Make sure there was some sewage that was new in our village. Problems water in the bridge, never had our best sewage. And family goes through a phase where they're lost in the maze. I praise the way I was raised, Lord knows I'm missing those better days. Hey, Thing back then, the way I was wild 
it all down Wanna live it all again This is better days now Didn't we know a damn thing back then But we are a while we know how <sighs> ending gets me every time man i i just uh it gets me every time man i wish you guys could have met my mom you guys would have loved my mom such a loving person such a giving person jeez I freaking oh, man I wish you guys could have met her I guess in a way you are meeting her through me because a lot of people say that I'm a lot like my mom or they used to say you know <laughs> oh man um, I'm not gonna cry so you know it was close earlier to tears falling and I'm, I'm not gonna let it happen so but um ah the song yeah you know it's it's one of those songs and it just you know it's just it's just a it's a special song uh, as much as there's a part of me that wants to just tear up. There's also a part of me that just smiles, you know, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside as well because, you know, like I said, those special moments, those better days, no one can take those memories away. So, yeah. Um, I had envisioned this going different in my head. This I, I was the reason I kept re-recording this song, this reaction, and again, not like the I didn't even get to the song. I would stop recording and be like, no, I don't want this to be a doom and gloom, I don't want this to be a crying tear fest, I don't want it to be emotional. I, I had it all planned in my head how I was gonna keep that from happening because you know if you prep up you can try to safeguard yourself from that stuff happening because you guys know I, I tend to cry quite often in videos I it just happens and uh, I was like I'm not gonna let it happen on this one I just want you guys to enjoy my song and use this song as a way for you to reflect back and think about the better days that you've had in your lives you know hopefully you guys can think of some happy moments and put a smile on your faces warm your hearts bring back some good memories um, from when you were younger, you know? And and that's what I would want to say and to kind of really bring home in regards to this song. I want this song to be a song that you guys can reflect with and, and that will bring joy to you. I don't want it to bring tears. Only if they're tears of happiness, you know? Don't, don't let it bring you down, but just think of the happy stuff, the good stuff, and um, cherish those moments. Cherish those moments, they're, they're priceless, they're moments that once they're gone, they're gone kind of situation, you know, you can't get back those moments, and that's what makes them that much more priceless, you know. It's those special moments, so. <sighs> yeah, this song, I wrote myself, I write all my own music, write all my own lyrics, make all of my own music. I mix, I master, I did the whole nine myself. Uh, yeah, I like that. It feels very personal for me to be able to do that. 
Um, I feel blessed to be able to do that, to have that gift, that talent, to be able to write my own music, to sing, to rap, to mix, to produce, to be a songwriter, the whole nine. You know, I, I, it's a talent that I've been blessed with and I'm thankful for it. And it's been a real godsend for me because it's the way that I got through a lot of things was by writing songs like this. You know, being able to deal with stuff that was going on, the loneliness, the the sadness, the pain, the sorrow, the good times, the bad, whatever, everything in between, pen to paper. That's how I got through a lot of it. Making songs, writing these feelings, these emotions, all these stuff down. And the, the love stuff as well, you know, the good stuff, you know. I am going to end this video. <laughs> Ugh. I was not prepared for this. Uh, I don't know if subconsciously I was ducking doing this song. I, I don't think I was. I mean, I knew it was on the list of songs that was coming up that I had to do. And um, it was a regular request that, um, you know, Jazzy had told me was coming. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. Yep. Can't wait. Looking out for it. And then she put in a upgrade request to upgrade this reaction request to priority. She wrote, I just couldn't wait any longer because she really likes this song. And uh, I'm like, oh, it's next. And I, you know, see, here's the thing with my list of songs. So if you guys don't know if all the reaction requests, I only see a name at first. I don't see the song. I don't know what's coming up until I click on it. And then the song pops up. All the information pops up of the order. And uh, I, I was like caught off guard because I didn't know she had upgraded. <laughs> and, uh, you know, subconsciously, maybe it's like one of those subconscious things where it's like, oh, you know that song's going to leave you feeling some kind of way you know you know it even though it's not like and and by all means like it's not it's it's a you know it's a good song it's a it brings back good memories you know but you can't help but the good memories can't help but also bring back some other memories because it just happens you can't think about it i kind of think it's like in life you know you gotta take the good and the bad you know but um yeah, I love this song. I mean, I was actually, I remember when I first made this song, I was really proud of this song. I was really, at the time, I was like, wow, this song I wrote, man, this is a banger. This is cool. This is a dope song. Like, I was really proud of it. It's, you know, I always get proud of listening back to something I've created. You know, it was like just a moment of, wow, I wrote that? That's cool. That's catchy. I like it. And other people tend to like it too, you know, this is actually a song that I perform regularly in all my shows. Um, really, really kind of powerful song for me, you know, just because of the meaning behind it, the, you know, what it stands for. So anyways, maybe one day when this whole COVID madness is over, I'll be able to start doing shows again and you guys could see me perform it live somewhere um who knows but for now i hope you enjoyed the video i'm gonna end this here as always remember which one to the fullest keep it off tap and hold on to those better days
in case I don't want to freaking fall and drop everything on film. I just. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little mission right now. All right, this is just for you guys. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha